Hi, Bolo here with Real Time Horsemanship. Today's quick tip, backing your horse. All right. uh, backing is one of the first things I try to teach a horse in, in, in the very beginning, okay? That, that, this is very important to me. Um, uh, first of all, backing is, is not that natural for a horse to do. Uh, yes, they're obviously capable of backing, but you never see them back for very long distances, okay? Um, just to maybe back away from another horse for a couple of steps. You never see them back around the pasture. So it's, it's just it's not something they, they do naturally on their own. Um, so here's the reasons I like to, uh, to teach a horse to back, and I think it's very important. Number one, on the ground. Uh, that really establishes respect, right? Uh, getting a horse to, to back away from you while keeping two eyes, and, and not turning away from you and showing you the butt, uh, that establishes respect and focus as far as I'm concerned. So that, I get the respect there on the ground and it carries over in the saddle. All right. Second reason is when they back up, they're using muscles uh, that they don't normally use a lot in that backing motion back here. So it builds muscle tone back here in the butt. I like that. The third reason is, is you want them working off the back end. That's very important. No matter what you do, uh, the rainers, you see them when they do the rollbacks, stop, get back, over, okay? Just stop, back, around, over. So uh, a cutting horse, the same thing. You want them working off the back end, uh, cutting those cows. Uh, even stopping, for that matter. Uh, with stopping horse, uh, because to get a horse to, to stop, you see those sliding stops that the rainers make? Getting that horse down and, 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 and uh, uh, that back end sliding like that, Get them collected essentially when you're stopping is they're thinking stop and get back, okay? So uh, that's kind of the beginning of all that, right? And there's other things, obviously, when you get to that level. But uh, that teaches a horse simply to work off their back end. So that's one of the reasons I like to teach a horse to back. All right, now, here's how you do it. Now, there's two separate things uh, that with me when backing the horses. Uh, remember, my hands control the neck and the pole, all right? This, that's, that's the idea here. And my, my feet, or excuse me, my saddle control the feet. My saddle, uh, my seat controls the shoulders, the barrel, and the hindquarters. Keep that in mind. Now, teaching a horse, a horse is not going to know all these things, of course. But that, that's kind of what I'm after. So, to teach a horse to back initially, and I'm going to have to kind of modify here because she's going to read my seat. She's about, this is a buttercup, and she she's about 70% to where I'd like to be on, on the backing issue. Uh, she's doing pretty well, but not totally there yet. So she's gonna be my demo horse for this. So first thing you wanna do, I wanna back a horse, get you a work, nice working rein. Again, I like to use even my cotties. Get you a nice working rein, all right? Keep it loose. Then uh, I set my backing seat. I change my seat. I'm supposed to uh, tell her to move her feet in that direction. Uh, and, and usually I say it's my stopping seat. It's the same, but um, whatever you wanna use for your backing seat, this is her first soft cue. So get your working rein. I dot the seat. All right, there's the seat. Now see, she already is thinking back already, which with my seat. Okay, well, okay. Like I said, she's she's doing pretty good, but I want to I want to demonstrate something here to you. So I'm not going to show her the seat right now, but I'll tell you. First thing you want is adopt your seat. The horse is not going to know that. Now with your fingers, slowly really lightly start adding pressure very slowly nice and even into her into them to the reins here and add pressure add pressure add pressure and then just hold it now a horse is going to do will probably do anything there well, now see i didn't give her the seat but she just backed away just on my hands uh, but they'll put their head up to the right to the left and they'll kind of just just hold it until they take that step back so i adopt the seat pull on the reins and hold it just like this lock them in and just, if you get good hands up here, it's fine. Seat, and get a step, release. Go back to neutral your seat, release the face, all right? That's how they learn to get that first back up. All right, again, I'm gonna come here. So it's gonna, be, it's gonna be seat, then slowly add reins, slowly add reins, pay attention, thank you. Then until I get a step, so, and then once you get two, one step, go for two steps, then for three steps, want to get it good. But remember, have them working off your seat, all right? Now, there is an added thing that I like to do in the backups is I, I want them backing up off the seat, number one. So no matter what the head does, I want you backing up off my seat. So, so, I don't know what that was, a bug. Come here, come here, all right, there we go. So I want, uh, I want working off my seat, all right? Uh, but the second thing that I want, all right, is I like that nice framed horse, the shape, and I want that shape 
So I want the head down there. This is this is a separate issue. This is where a lot of lateral flexion and vertical flexion, all this before this will come in handy. I like to set that head again with my hands. So my hands set the face where I want it, in this case there, and then my seat tells her to back up. All right. So, so it's kind of two separate things. So try to try to get her face soft in your hands and then just set her head and then use your seat to back up. Then when you're done, I can release my seat and then keep her, well, let's see if I can do it. Keep her head, yep, that was kind of sloppy, but then keep her head, uh, head, uh, there we go. She's a little confused. There we go. Keep her head kind of shaped. There we go. So it's two separate things, like I said. So that just, it, you want to keep that in mind. But the biggest thing is getting your horse just to back up to begin with. I don't want them backing up with their head all up in the air and everything. I want them to be relaxed and calm. So seat, reins, slowly, pressure, get a step, release everything. Neutral seat, release the reins. That's the best way, in my opinion, to start teaching the horse how to back up. I think it's very important that the horse understands it right off the bat. That just makes your life so much happier going forward. So anyway, there you go. Uh, backing your horse. Uh, Y'all try it. I think it's good for, good for you and your horse. So appreciate it. Bolo, real time horsemanship. Good girl. Good girl.